One of the highlights of our upcoming post one contemporary art auction is this furniture sculpture by Swiss artist John M. Armleder. The piece consists of an old kitchen cabinet and a painting that the artist executed himself. In the 1980s, Armleder gained national recognition with this type of artwork, the so-called furniture sculptures, in which he pairs furniture or other everyday objects with abstract paintings. Born in 1948, Armleder's artistic work is strongly influenced by John Cage and his involvement in the Fluxus movement. Armleder started his artistic career in the late 1960s as one of the initiatives of the Geneva-based group Eckhart. Focusing on performance art pieces until the late 1970s, Armleder's interest would shift to a more conventional art medium, that of abstract painting. But then, of course, he would use it in the broader mindset of the Fluxus spirit. When Armleder painted the backrest of an old dining chair in 1979 and later called the piece Furniture Sculpture No. 1, the kickoff for his furniture sculptures of the 1980s had been made. The applied objects uh, in his furniture sculptures can be old or new, they can be table, chairs, couches, but also musical instruments, mirrors, surfboards, all kinds of uh, daily objects were suited for Armleder to arrange with his paintings. This piece in our auction is titled Furniture Sculpture No. 138 and was made in 1987. When I first saw the work, I especially liked the way how the playfulness of the found kitchen cabinet is translated into a strict geometric painting. What Armleder basically does here is he transforms the, the formal aspects of an everyday object and he projects them onto the flat surface of the canvas. In pairing the two, he allows them to interact. In this furniture sculpture, Armleder blurs the line between fine art and between daily life in his personal way and he shows us how context plays an important role in our perception and in our appreciation of art. The furniture sculptures are only one facet of Armleder's diverse and extensive body of work, which makes him one of the most important and influential Swiss artists of today.